I'm Rhonda Bell. I'm a professor in human nutrition in the Department of Agricultural Food and Nutritional Sciences at the University of Alberta. Women in Alberta um, gain in excess of the recommended amounts of weight during pregnancy. And in fact, it's about 56% of women in total who exceed weight gain guidelines or exceed weight gain recommendations in pregnancy. If those women were overweight or obese to start with, 80% of them exceed the guidelines. One of the things about weight gain recommendations is that until about 2009, there was this general, um, there was a general idea that women should make sure they gained enough weight. And I think that message has gotten through really well, but now it looks like women gain too much weight, and too much weight for their health for their long-term health and even for the health of their infant. The people who we're really aiming to help are pregnant women. We hope that they can be supported in gaining an appropriate amount of weight during their pregnancy and losing an appropriate amount of weight uh, after pregnancy or postpartum. We also really want to help their healthcare providers and any community-based organizations who work with pregnant women to support women in both of those aspects of their health. There's many different pieces, many different parts to this whole research program. The earliest things that we'll be doing build on equipment or build on information or data that already exist. So one of those parts, for example, you might be familiar with the Alberta Pregnancy Outcomes and Nutrition Study, it's also called the APRON Study, 2,000 women and their children in, from Alberta, from Edmonton and Calgary mainly. So we have a lot, it's an amazingly rich data set, we have a lot of data from that study. So this is a real opportunity to analyze particularly some of that maternal data in really very novel and new ways to find out what it is in terms of dietary intake, in terms of energy expenditure that women did who achieved an appropriate body weight both in the pregnancy period and postpartum. So we have that data, we can analyze that, it's a really great use of that resource and I think we're all really excited to get moving forward on that one. Another Part of the project is this room that we see behind me, which is called a calorimeter. It's a very, very specialized piece of equipment that allows us to really, really precisely measure energy expenditure and to understand how it is, what calories get burned as people are doing different things, um, whether they're resting, whether they're walking on the treadmill, whether they're uh, eating themselves, reading, whatever. Um, so for that particular project, uh, women in the postpartum period are going to be asked to be in our room, our calorimeter room, twice. Once early on after um, the birth of their child, so about three months postpartum, and then once about a year postpartum. With that, we'll be able to unravel some of our suspicions, I think, that um, energy expenditure during the postpartum period may not be quite as extensive as we think it is. A lot of the studies that first looked at this were done in the 50s, 60s, even the early 70s. We know there's been a lot of changes in terms of women's body composition, in terms of um, activity rates, even in terms of our dietary patterns. So it'll be important to update those um, numbers so that we can make appropriate recommendations. The hope of this project is really that women will be able to um, gain an appropriate amount of weight by eating really well, that they'll be able to lose their, uh, the weight that they've gained during pregnancy, again, by eating and eating really well and being physically active, um, and that their healthcare providers and other people who work with them will, will be able to support them in that.